Today, we're gonna find the best fast food breakfast so that you don't have to. We've all had a breakfast fast food sandwich at some point, but do you have any idea who excels in the breakfast category? We've already found the best burger, the best fast food fries, the best crispy chicken sandwich, and the best chicken nuggets. Now, it's time to go find the best fast food breakfast, but before I go, don't forget to toss a like on the video. So Manny actually got to choose a random subscriber today to come along with us in this video. Manny, who'd you choose? Ryan, oh, there he is. Oh, oh. Can't figure out the door. <laughs> there, there you go. go. <laughs> hey, Ryan. What's up, guys? How, How you doing? Are you? Good morning. Good morning. What's, what's happening? How you guys doing? You ready for this? Yeah, dude, I'm always ready for breakfast sandos. <laughs> I think Manny, you chose him because he's like the breakfast sandwich expert, it sounded like. Is that right? I mean, yeah, I think breakfast sandwiches should be their own food group. Okay, so he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> First up, we're gonna hit Wendy's. Looks like they got a $1 breakfast biscuit, sausage or bacon. That actually sounds kind of good. What do you think, Ryan? You trust that? Uh, Yeah, I'll give it a go. Wendy's is late to the breakfast game. They uh, they really only joined the party in the last like couple of years. We weren't kidding when we said Ryan was a breakfast connoisseur. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, thanks. I've actually never had breakfast here. What is your favorite breakfast menu item? For me, hopefully. For you. Well, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> number seven. Number seven, okay. Oh, breakfast baconator. Okay. Yeah. Ryan, what do you want? I think I'm gonna go with the uh, sausage, egg, and Swiss croissant. We'll get one sausage, egg, and Swiss croissant. I don't know if I'm in the baconator mood right now, I'm gonna be honest. I think I might go with the classic sausage, egg, and cheese. Just Keep it simple. Yeah. Let's see if we see one day again. Ryan, we saw Wendy the last two times we've gone. Oh yeah? The last two times we've gone, right, Manny? We've yeah. We've seen Wendy. Thank you. How are you? So far, so good. Pretty good? We're trying every breakfast fast food sandwich today. Oh, he didn't care. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, Ryan, I want to hear the thoughts. First breakfast sandwich of the day. It smells pretty good. Question is, is the meat going to be square? Because oh. Wendy's meat is always square. Because they don't cut corners, right? Right, that's what they say. They do cut corners, though. Yeah. <laughs> We're being honest Legit. about it. All right, so we've got, like, there's a, a I mean, it's it looks like a croissant. And the sausage is indeed square. So I think this, this one might be yours, Nick. Oh, this one's circled. This one's got bacon. This one's definitely Nick's. Do you like the silver packaging, by the way? Yeah, I don't hate it. I love a croissant sandwich. Sausage is good, egg is good. I'd probably get it like a six. I'm just quickly like for me looking at this, it's smaller than I thought, but I actually don't mind that. I don't I don't mind a really, really good, but small and compact breakfast sandwich. The egg actually looks kind of legit. It looks like they cooked it in a ring mold. The cheese though is a disaster. I don't know who did the cheese. It looks like something happened somehow, or maybe they put the cheese on and then they were like, oh no, we forgot the bacon. They put the bacon on, they took the, <laughs> something happened here with the cheese menu. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I don't know how to dive in. Mm. Wow. You know what? I don't ever get breakfast at fast food. You guys kind of know the only thing that I really buy is a Popeye's crispy chicken sandwich. That's my only fast food go-to that I'll actually get for lunch. But I'm actually pleasantly surprised by the breakfast sandwich. My real question is, are they all going to be really similar across the board? I hope not. Because, you know, burgers and chicken sandwiches are pretty different, right? Yeah. Across the board. I'm hoping they're all different, but there's actually a good bite of breakfast sandwich. The only thing that I don't like, the cheese, not only was it butchered the way they put it on, but it tastes really, really plasticky and fake. It's like a level below that square neon cheese. It's bad cheese. Otherwise, this is actually a really good sandwich. Now turn right on to the Legacy Boulevard. No. So Starbucks definitely has breakfast. They're more of a drink place, obviously. With that said though, if I do get a breakfast fast food sandwich, this I think is typically my go-to for a fast food breakfast sandwich. And I don't necessarily put Starbucks in the bucket of fast food, but it's fast and they have food. So I think that's fair, right, Ryan? Yeah, and they have a drive-thru. And they so. have a drive-thru so we can sit here and be lazy, even though the entire parking lot is empty and we can just easily walk in. Minnie, it snowed last night. Go, go wipe off their drive-thru sign. Okay. <laughs> What do you want, Ryan? The bacon gouda egg. Yeah, two bacon gouda egg breakfast sandwiches. Anything else? Can I get cake pop? Sorry? Cake pop. Uh, okay. You pick. Anything. Okay. Thank you so much. Here is your birthday cake pop. Thank you. You're impossible. Thank you. We're trying every breakfast fast food sandwich today. Can you believe it? We're like every place. Good luck and I hope your stomach holds up. <laughs> Who's gonna win though? I hate to say it, but I'd say here. Really? Yes. You know what I just said on the camera? This is the only place that I get my fast food uh, breakfast <laughs> sandwiches. All right, thank you so much. Have a great one. Have a great Bye. day. Thanks JT. Mini, why? <laughs> All right, so we have a Gouda and bacon sandwich. 
I don't know. The egg's kind of bland. The egg is different. It's like ground beef versus a piece of steak. Yep. Same thing here. Yep. This this egg is scrambled it's in scrambled. a patty, right? Actually, the quality of ingredients, though, I feel like is higher here I already. Agree. Bacon, though, Wendy's beat them out of the bacon. Agreed, Easy. Yep. This is like that fake weird bacon. I, I don't really know what I what I, what that's even supposed to look like. I like the gouda, though. Yeah, I'm I'm good with the gouda. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your rating? I'm gonna give this a 5.5. Okay, so lower than the Wendy's. Wow. Yeah. yeah, the bacon is 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 lacking for sure. It's soggy in the middle. This is a very simple breakfast sandwich. If you enjoy a simple breakfast sandwich, this is a good breakfast sandwich. It's hot. The bread is soft and fluffy. The egg is soft and fluffy, but it's simple, simple, simple. So depends what you're going for. Famous Chick-fil-A. We've been here many times. Chick-fil-A surprisingly empty for breakfast. There's no breakfast rush and it's 8 30 on the dot. You would think that it would be popping here for breakfast, but it's not. I have never ever been to Chick-fil-A for breakfast. I've never been anywhere except McDonald's or Starbucks for breakfast. Hello? 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 Uh, we're at the other window. They're at the wrong window. They're talking on the other one. We're on the other side. Good morning, welcome to Chick-fil-A. May I have a name for order? Yes, hi, I'm Manny. I'm today. I'll do the uh, sausage, egg, and cheese muffin, please. And then can we do two bacon, egg, and cheese on biscuit, and that's it. Thank you. Have a good one. This one says special. I don't know what that means, Ryan. That's you, though. What is? Why does it say special on it? Because I'm special, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. I really think it's interesting how they change up their packaging so much for this. Okay, Ryan, big red flag for me right out of the gate. Can you tell what I'm gonna say? That the cheese isn't melted. Come on, isn't that just basic breakfast sandwich etiquette? I could, all I need is a hair dryer and I could heat it up more than what they've done here. This is ridiculous, Ryan. What is this? It's not melted at all. All right, I'm going in. It's pretty good. I think this English muffin's a, like a whole wheat English muffin. So they really care really? about me. They care about my health. That's good. Mm -hmm. it's, almost, know, it's almost a healthy breakfast. Is though. your egg the same as mine? Look up close at this egg. All the egg that I get is like this little thin flab of egg, which is kind of weird. Yeah. I've never seen egg like that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I don't know if I like that at all. Mm. Also, the biscuit is like eating a bunch of raw all-purpose flour. Told you. I'm like choking on the biscuit. Yeah, I don't love the biscuit. I also got, just to mix it up, because I've never gone to Chick-fil-A before for breakfast, I'd never heard of these, the chicken minis, which to me, they look like little bao buns. It's almost like little sourdough bun rolls. They actually smell really good. You can smell the, really the yeast there. This looks solid. Mm -hmm. You put a little Chick-fil-A sauce in this thing. I mean, they're not fooling anybody. These are just chicken nuggets with a piece of bread around them. Right. This is creative and it's not bad. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they should definitely stay in their lane, right? I mean, chicken chicken sandos, they're- I totally agree. What's your rating? What's Ooh. your final rating here? I'm giving that one a five. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the worst one so far? Yeah, I didn't really love it. No way. Yeah. I'm surprised by that. Well, McDonald's is perhaps the best known place for breakfast food, breakfast sandwiches. So let's head to McDonald's. The McRib is back. Never ever had the McRib in my life. It's always a big deal, isn't it, Ryan, when that thing comes out? Yeah, I mean, my father gets excited when it comes out, but uh, I have never had one. I, I don't know if you can get them right now, though, for breakfast, I assume. But either way, we're here for breakfast, so that's all right. So to be totally honest, I think I've only ever had one breakfast sandwich from McDonald's in my life, and that's the Egg McMuffin. But apparently, you guys are saying the McGriddle is like the thing to get. Is that true? Yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What, what about it? It's pancakes and sausage with maple syrup. Is it a sandwich? Yes. It's a sandwich? The bread of the sandwich is pancakes. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Hey, how are you? Could we please do a McGriddle with sausage? I will do a uh, sausage McMuffin with egg. Thank you. All right, that's my love. Thanks so much. Hello. Hi. How are you? Cold. Cold. <laughs> We're trying every fast food breakfast sandwich today. Really? Hitting them all. Who's going to win, do you think? You don't know? McDonald's, you're supposed to say. Not a good sign. Manny, they always send us up to the second window, yeah. and then there's just nobody here yeah. every time. Weird. You guys just hit them. Hey, thank you so much. You guys are good. Have a good one. All right, here we go. We got the sausage McMuffin with egg. I'm glad that you got that, Ryan, because that's a classic. It is a classic. Right? I really want to see your rating on this, because this is the big, this is the, yeah. the big moment for me. Wow. This thing smells like Aunt Jemima's maple syrup. Uh -huh. Just out of the, out of the bag. Wow. What the heck? Oh, it's like soft. It's really soft. China, it's so good. I like what? it. What? This is crazy. Smells good. Looks good. Cheese is melted. That's pretty good. Wow. That's my favorite breakfast sandwich of the day. This is really good. Yeah, that's my favorite. Damn, Mickey D's. You know, if I had worked at McDonald's full time, I think I would have eaten a lot of these. Yeah. Brian, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for you. I'm also excited for this. Damn, Ryan, this is good. Mm hmm. What do you think? Mm hmm. Good? Mm hmm. Wow, McDonald's. This is like the old faithful right here. Oh my God. 
McDonald's. What are we doing here? Whoever's working on the breakfast team needs a raise. Brian, what's the rating? Ooh. Well, this is my favorite one, so I'm giving this one an eight. Wow. What's the highest you've ever given a sandwich? Breakfast sandwich. Ooh. For fast food, for fast food, like an eight, eight and a half is probably the highest I would go. This is about as good as it gets. Yeah. Mickey D's up top today so far. They're in first place by a good margin, mm -hmm. I would say. Headed on to Popeyes. And they are still hiring many. So it's not too late. I really do think you'd make a mean crispy chicken sandwich. Bad sign here, guys. There's no snow tracks at all. You see that? Which either means, what does it mean, <laughs> There's right? a reason for that. They do not serve <laughs> breakfast. Are you sure? As much as you want that to be true. Do they really not? No, they don't. No they way. stay in their lane. They make chicken and chicken sandos. I'm gonna check, Ryan. I'm sorry, but I gotta check. Hello? Hello? This is not good. Oh, I see a person, I see a person. Let's ask this guy. No breakfast here? No. Oh, I didn't know that, I'm sorry. We're trying every breakfast place, so. Oh, you may try like in Chick-fil-A or McDonald's. You guys have never served breakfast, huh? Brian, if it's okay with you, I am getting pretty full at this point. I also like a regular meal. So we're gonna shoot home quickly and make ourselves a little bit of lunch. All right, we have pulled back up to the studio. We're gonna do the quick little lunch break, but don't worry, we'll be right back on the road in a few minutes. We have eaten a ton of fast food breakfast today and I need a break. It's time for a healthier, more composed meal and that's where today's sponsor, HelloFresh, comes in. And as usual, I've got quite the offer for you. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Their number one goal is to make eating better easier. No grocery stores, no stressful meal planning. The first thing I love about HelloFresh is that the recipes are simply delicious. I mean, look at our options here today. We've got Baja Baramundi, or Baramundi if you want to pronounce it with a little bit of flair. Steak with creamy thyme sauce, which I must say looks fantastic. And last but not least, a miso apricot chicken, which I must admit is quite creative. Manny, what do you want to eat today? Uh, let's do the baj, 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 boomer. I also love that HelloFresh can help you eat more sustainably. The ingredients are pre-portioned, which means less prep and less wasted food. And I've actually been having Manny work on his knife skills, so he's gonna chop the ingredients up today. Manny made a good choice. I'm pretty excited for this recipe. Oh, and by the way, in terms of the packaging, it's made almost entirely from recyclable and or already recycled content. HelloFresh is also committed to giving back. In fact, they donated over 4 million meals to charities in 2020. 4 million meals. And you know, speaking of meals, let's enjoy some nice B-roll of me cooking this meal for Manny. So here's the deal. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code NickD14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Once again, that's code NickD14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this healthy plate of fish before I head back and have a few more breakfast sandwiches. Let's go finish finding out who has the best breakfast. Burger King, home of the Whopper, also home to what I honestly think is probably the best fast food burger patty in terms of the flavoring and seasoning. They got that actual grill smoky flavor to it and nobody else has figured that out. They got French toast sticks. Yes, hi, could I do one order of French toast sticks? I'll do a sausage, egg and cheese croissant, please. We have two for four dollars. I'll just do one just, for two. <laughs> just one for, how much does one cost? Only one is $4. Wait, so one and two cost the same amount? Wait, there's no way that the one cost the same as the two. Hello? Hi, honey, how you doing? So, so we're trying every fast food breakfast sandwich today. The one cost the same as the two? We're already pretty full, so yes. we only really need one. No, we don't want to waste any food. You can I eat the other one. I don't want to play the one. <laughs> I do it for you. Oh, you're giving us the sandwich for free? Oh, look at that. That's so nice. Does that ever happen to you, Ryan? Mm -mm. Who's going to win the best sandwich? We've already tried Starbucks. We've tried McDonald's, we've tried Chick-fil-A, Chick we've tried, I mean, we're going everywhere. Who's gonna win? You? I don't know, maybe me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's already a winner in my book. So. I like this lady. Thank you very much. Oh, the French, oh! I wanna bathe in syrup. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you for the sandwich. Nicest lady in the world. Yeah. So far t today for customer service, Ryan, don't oh, you yeah. think it's a clear win for Burger King? Oh yeah, she wins. Manny's friend JT though, you know, she was up there. Yeah. JT was really cool JT's too. JT wasn't quite as comfortable on camera though. The French toast smells Fabulous. It smells very good. You smell that from back I there? Can smell it. The actual flavor of it is really sweet. It's really soft. It's really fluffy. I like it a lot. I'm more curious to see what the fast food breakfast sandwich expert has to say about our free sandwich. Boom. 
Hit us. No, nope. nothing better than a free sando. Never happened to me in a fast food restaurant. In fact, I didn't even know that was allowed. All right, well, Nick would like the fact that the cheese is quite melty. We have a fluffy croissant. We've got some sausage, sausage. Okay, this is pretty good. The sausage is good, the egg is nice, cheese is melted. Would love for the croissant to be a little bit crispier, but it's definitely- It's up there? It's up there. Really? I'm gonna give this one six and a half. I wonder, I figured it'd be around six and a half, seven, right in the middle yeah. of like that five and uh -huh. the eight that we've given today. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Next up, Taco Bell. I didn't even know they had breakfast, but according to Ryan, they have a pretty good one. Taco Bell's connected to Long John Silver's. I have a personal vendetta against Long John Silver's. It is the absolute worst food. It's awful that we even are allowed to have this in New England, a place that prides itself on good seafood. However, Ryan says that Taco Bell has an actually decent breakfast that's creative, which is what I kind of care about. I like creative. Yeah, it's pretty creative. Cool. All right, let's try it out. The menu is not creative. Look at how that is completely bowed in there. Manny, I think, you, Manny, go fix that. Okay. Go fix that. You do the ordering for oh, this shoot. one. I need, I'm gonna need a minute. I've only okay. had it once. Don't order any Long John Silver's, Ryan. Can I get uh, a toasted breakfast burrito? Which one? Uh, with bacon. Anything else? Uh, what do you want, Nick? What's your favorite breakfast fast food item here? Uh, probably the crunch wrap. I was just gonna say that. Let's get him the uh, breakfast crunch, uh, breakfast cut crunch wrap with bacon, please. Anything else? No, thank That'll you. Be it. Thank you. Uh, apparently, I can't say the word crunch wrap. Thank you. Thanks so much. She did not like the camera, Manny. All right, I'm actually excited for the Taco Bell because the bag is very, very very hot which is really important they gave us a sticker i don't know do you want that thank you so much oh. <laughs> so temperature is really important with food obviously these are piping 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 hot this one looks like yours correct yeah. feel how hot that is yeah that's hot is that insane this smells great by the way you want to buy them first for me you go first this is your first experience crunch wrap supreme breakfast Everyone loves the Crunchwrap Supreme. This is burning my hands. I have a very high heat tolerance and this is hot. Many of you would not be able to hold this. Okay, here we go. Wow, that is good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I didn't think anybody would rival McDonald's and this is not quite up to that level. This is a different type of good though. The cuts of the bacon in there are really, really well done. Look at that. Action in there too. There's hash brown in there. There's egg in there. There's cheese in there. I put this a very close number two behind yeah. McDonald's. Let's see what you have to think. All right. It gives a little hot sauce. I put a little hot sauce in that. A little touch of hot sauce in here. Be wow. Perfect. It's pretty good. That's a seven for me. Seven? Yeah. That one's up there, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that right behind McDonald's today? Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. Taco Bell came in with out of nowhere out of left field for me i didn't know taco bell would be even in in the running yeah it just so happens that we are at the staple of new england some would say dunkin donuts this place pretty much you know you go here look at the logo right there on the wall maybe donuts and coffee that's what they do best right and they stick to it although in a way they don't because they're trying to do all these new crazy things now ryan what are, you, what are your thoughts on dunkin donuts as a new englander what do you think about it oh man um i love their coffee which a lot of people you know that's a that's a polarizing like topic coffee, huh? i do like the coffee that's about it i'm not a big donut guy so are you proud of dunkin donuts that that it's from like this area are you proud of that we have dunkin donuts or no because uh, i don't think i am i think if i would have grown up here born and raised i would probably have some sort of attachment to dunkin donuts while you say that by the way i have never seen this before their ordering system must be broken they got a person outside today. That's, that's some good service. Unless it's a random person that's just messing around. Hello, could we please do, um, what do you want, Ryan? Bacon, egg, and cheese? Sausage, egg, and cheese. Sa two sausage, egg, and cheeses, please? What are you doing out here? Yeah, having fun. <laughs> having fun? <laughs> We're trying every fast food breakfast sandwich today. Isn't that cool? Do you have a, do you have someone you think will win? I think we should win, Duncan. That's what that's I was gonna say. You have there to you say go. Duncan. Okay, good, 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 okay. Thank you for the service today. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Question. If you don't mind. We're trying every fast food breakfast sandwich today. Who, who do you have? I love the maple bacon and English muffin. We tried like already every other place. We tried McDonald's, Burger King, everything. Do you have any favorites from other places or no? Brugger's. Brugger's bagels? Yeah. Oh, that's your spot. Okay, yeah. it's more of a niche kind of less yeah. fast food they type have... thing. You should win? Yeah. All right, I'll give you the win just for you, you maybe. I don't know, you want me to get you something? Thank you. Thank you so much. You. I'll bring maybe someday sometime I'll drop by and bring you bring you a bagel, okay? okay. <laughs> I love that they're placing an order with you for another place. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the one placing the order. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Ryan. I'm so full that I don't wanna eat anymore. Yeah, I don't either actually. <laughs> so we got the same thing. I literally do not even want to take a bite, if I'm being totally honest. I've had Dunkin' Donuts a million times. That's fine. I'll take one for the team here. 
Really? Yeah, of course. Ryan, we need to bring Ryan. Who thinks we should bring Ryan around more often? He won, by the way. Ryan was picked by Manny from the comments. Ryan is literally a random subscriber. We didn't know you, obviously, before today. Um, Ryan also lives in the Boston area, though, and Manny went through the comments. Everyone was hyping Ryan up. They were all saying that we should bring Ryan. That's just my love of breakfast sandwiches. Is that it, you think? Yeah, just think everyone so. could tell that you were a breakfast sandwich I threw it king. out there that I thought it should be its own food group, but apparently a lot of people agree with me. Quintessential New England in this little croissant right here. Which I'm appreciating that the croissant is actually pretty crispy. Sorry, oh. it's making a mess back here. It's fine. We have a lot of food in this car. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That actually looks really fantastic. It's really good. It's really hot. Good though. Mm -hmm. That's good though. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. It's burning my my leg, by the way. Just it's sitting hot. on the back. Yeah. Yep. It's burning my leg. What do you think, Ryan? Okay, this is up here. Huh. Somewhere between McDonald's and Taco Bell. I think this gets like Wow. I think this gets like a 7.5. Yeah. Because as full as I am. Tell us why. As full as I am, I could actually keep eating this. I'm a sucker for a croissant, and every other croissant sandwich we've had, the croissant has been soggy. And that one's flaky. This, I can see flakes yeah, like around it's your... all on my beard. Yeah. This croissant is crispy, okay. and uh, it's hot. Obviously, the cheese is melty. The sausage is good. The egg's actually a real egg. Yeah, look at that, Manny. It's, it's a like real a... legit egg right there. This really is like, solid. This is very close to winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'll tell you that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So as we approach home, I want to hear what your kind of closing thoughts are. It's always good to give people a wrap up so that all of you watching can know next time you go out for a fast food sandwich where you should go. I think by now you kind of get a good sense of what those top ones are. Although, why don't we run through from the bottom and kind of talk about what is, what is the baseline breakfast sandwich, the, the kind of lowest of the low that we tried today. And then what's on top? I think that, uh, I think bottom for me was probably Wendy's. That just wasn't my favorite. I totally agree. I feel like Wendy's just was not good no. all around. Bread was bad, patty was bad. Egg was like mediocre. It just wasn't good. What else do you think was kind of down there and why? Uh, well, the next one was Starbucks for me, but I don't think that that's a blanket statement on Starbucks break breakfast sandwiches. I think it's just the one that I got because the double smoked bacon and Gouda sandwich, which I've had, is actually one of my favorite sandwiches of breakfast sandwiches. I didn't love the ciabatta, but like the Gouda and the, and the meat were good. Um, but just compared to some of the others, it was just bottom, closer to the bottom for me. When we talk about kind of more middle tier breakfast sandwiches, where do we sit for those? Yeah, so probably in the middle of the pack would be Burger King and Chick-fil-A. Isn't know. that surprising, by the way? Like, I would think just Chick-fil-A is so good with everything else that they might be up there on the top. I don't know. I don't know, like, chicks in their name. Like, I should have got a chicken sandwich. Like, that, right. I mean, that's really what they do, and they do really well, obviously. So yeah. um, I think the lesson learned on them is... It goes kind of to what you were saying throughout the day, which was, like, stay in your lane. Just if you're really good at something, you might as well stick with that and do it really well. Popeyes doesn't even bother with breakfast because they're just the best at fried chicken sandwich. And I actually kind of appreciate that Popeyes doesn't do breakfast in a way. They realize how good they are at... at at lunch and at crispy chicken sandwiches that they're just not even gonna mess with anything else. Finally, going up to the top, who do we got? Yeah, top three being Taco Bell, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and McDonald's. Those were the top three of the I day. feel like they were just in a category of their own. Like the caliber of food for those was just different yep. than some of these other ones. If you don't wanna do bread and you feel like changing it up, Taco Bell is a good option. You've got the tortilla, you've got one-stop shop with the hash brown, the, the bacon, the eggs, the cheese, and in my opinion, throw a little hot sauce, that would be a knock out of the park. I mean, McDonald's is always just a standard go-to and a staple for me. Who doesn't love an Egg McMuffin? I do, uh, so that was definitely top. For me, slightly surprising was the fact that Dunkin' Donuts came in so strong because that was the best bread of the day. The, the croissant was absolutely perfect. They I love a croissant. They have a surprisingly man. buttery and flaky croissant at yes. Dunkin' Donuts. They always have, actually. I don't know why that is, but they just always have. Um, they don't do the best job toasting the bottom of it. It's always a little bit awkwardly toasted because it bows up with the heat of the... When it, when it gets heated up, it kind of bows up a little bit, almost like if you don't press a steak down when you're trying to get that nice sear on the bottom. It kind of loses all that surface area and, and doesn't have a crisp throughout. However, I would totally agree. I think McDonald's was my favorite sandwich of the day. I'm really glad that you guys had me try. The McGriddle. The McGriddle was fantastic. Yeah. Something about the two pancake buns was just mind-blowing for me. I've never had anything like that. It was really creative and I would think it was disgusting, but it was fantastic. That's one of those things that you would think maybe on paper might not work and it really, really did. I put that as number one by far. McDonald's, you take the crown today for me. I actually put Taco Bell in a clear second place. I thought Taco Bell was, like you said, very kind of creative, kind of unique. 
if you're looking for something different is the right thing to say for that, right? Then I, I would say Taco Bell for sure. So Brian, I am beyond happy that Manny picked you to come with us today. Um, we'll do some more looking in the comments, uh, uh, maybe for some of the videos down the road yeah. and see if uh, Man Manny's obviously got good taste. So we'll let him pick from now on, I think. Um, Ryan, I'm just going to drop you right off on the side of the road. I think we both need to burn off those calories anyway. So <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to jog home. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, everyone, uh, make sure you give uh, Ryan a huge thank you in the comments below. And thank Manny, obviously, for finding him. But yeah, Ryan, thanks for coming with us. Yeah, I hope thanks, you had guys. fun. Appreciate yeah. it. You know what? I'm not a big breakfast fan, but I suddenly think I'm going to be having faster breakfast a lot more. To me, it was very clear today that the McDonald's McGriddle was the best of the best. We even had a little funny exchange with them on Twitter about it. And I think they appreciate how much I appreciate their breakfast sandwiches. Once again, I want to give a massive thanks to Ryan for joining us today. Another thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And I'll remind you once again to toss a like and subscribe because you could be helping us out on our next video. Happy cooking.